Over there. Tents. This must be the expedition's camp. A camp here? In the open wind? It was definitely set up by scholars. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents and the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expedition's campsite. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they were wielding magic. Magic is the miracle of the enlightened. This bears resemblance with the sorcery of the natives. Hmm. Not surprising. But not enough to help us locate precisely where the scholars are now. and disgusting practices of the bridge. Every native in their territory has revolted. We cannot know which particular clan is guilty. This looks like the journal of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover. Trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. More blood. We're on the right path. Keep going. A corpse. The clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he's been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man was unarmed. And from the position of his body, I would say he was fleeing. It is not honor that motivates them. Maybe it was vengeance. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer there. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. Isolated. Discreet. Perfect visibility. Great choice. It is a journal. That of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afro. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. 
She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops mid-sentence. A woman with sharp eyes. They might have saved her life. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will certainly lead us to our party of intrepid scientists. She may be part of the Alliance, but I can't help feeling bad about what happened to this woman. According to what she wrote, her attackers must have come from the swamp. We should follow their tracks. Look, those are islanders. They might be from the clan that attacked the Bridger camp. Let's get closer. let you take us. We will not kneel down without a fight. Wait. We have no desire to fight you. We only want to find the Lion Sages. They are not warriors, but their chief is ready to send an army of warriors to liberate them. If you help us bring them back, you will save your tribe from a costly battle in lives. He speaks truly. Look. One of them is already eager to bring Lion Warriors back to us. All we wanted was for them to tell us where our brothers are being kept. What good is this if we must leave our camp behind? Very well. Stay away from the main entrance. Our guards will not welcome your arrival. Pass around. There is a smaller entrance hidden there. The Lions are kept in a home in ruins. There must be a key somewhere to open the door, but I know not where it is kept. What is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. Well, after this little swim, you could always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? 
we were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burham who asked us to find you. He's worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? Desarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm. The new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face. I've heard stories about you. And then? Bishop Petrus, if our young friend hadn't insisted on coming here, I would have gladly let you rot in this marsh. Behold the charity of the enlightened, huh? Kurt. Simply Kurt. I protect our excellencies back. And if one of your violent fits overcomes you, rescue party or not, I will kill you. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars' shouts, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, but they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without any success so far. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are, oh, so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs.
This is where the natives took your colleagues? Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin. avoid unwarranted death. We should wait until nightfall and look around the camp to find a more discreet way to get inside. Greenblood, my friend. Do you need something? I must leave you. as they were about to lock my companions inside a cell. We're going to need a key. The prison guards will certainly have the key.
lot. Afra, is that you? Come quickly. We don't have much time. Thank you for your help. Do not thank me yet. We are still in a shipload of danger. Mercy, you have defeated us. Spare us our lives. If you spare them, they will only hunt us down until we are all dead. No, you have our word. We have been bested. We will let you move on in peace. How can we trust you? You attacked our camp when we were not even armed. They are savages. They had us caged like beasts. We only sought to learn where you have caged our people. Are you really going to massacre these helpless men to answer the demands of those mischievous scientists? Very well. Leave. And I hope you keep your word. Thank you, Honor Manawi. I have spoken and I will honor my words, Kwa Awalamseg. We are no longer in danger. Thank you for your help, Dasade. I must admit, the reasons for my being here are not entirely selfless. Your research to find a remedy against the Malachor could save many lives in our cities as well. You speak like a true man of science. Cut to the point, then you'll be thrilled. Your heroic efforts to save us from those savages could help. We've made a discovery. Is that right? In that case, we need to speak with Governor Burram immediately. Very well. I'll accompany you. <sighs> Let's be off. Sir Desade, and our expedition. I thank you sincerely for having brought them back, Excellence. You are a providential man. Please, sir. It was you who convinced me and my cousin of the capital importance of their research. A research that has borne fruit, Your Excellency. Truly? This is excellent news. You have found a plant with sufficient properties? Uh, not exactly. Know that during our captivity, an island woman visited the camp. The natives called her Tiena Hak Cadactus and treated her with utmost reverence. I heard them talk about a remedy, a universal remedy, it seemed, that she had concocted. Incredible. To think that what we have been searching for all these years could have been created by a savage. We must converse with this woman, and in haste, we would be happy to assist in this matter, Governor, but I fear we would not be particularly well received. 
If obtaining a remedy for the Malachor is at stake, I would be happy to take charge of the matter. I would like to accompany you if the Governor gives me leave. I will not miss an occasion to meet the woman who elaborated such an important panacea. Accorded. It is only right that one of our own participate on the expedition that will restore health to our continent. Very well. We shall do all in our power to find that woman.